Um, he's not an artist, but he's associated with the gang and management, etc. So he's a part of hip hop. Um, sometimes I think like people just make certain comments and make huge statements. And sometimes people in hip hop, we say some stupid stuff. And like Takari Richardson has been in the news, obviously, for the uh, the drug test. And now she can't go to the Olympics. She's we not- duh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know how Stephen A. We duh. Um, we duh. Stay off the weed. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We duh. <laughs> but she, we duh. she um, <laughs> failed that drug test. So she's not going to be able to do the 100 meter. And I just I saw earlier that I believe she didn't even make the four by one. So she's nope, not she going did. at all. Nope, she's not going to be in the relay team either. Yeah. Oh, wow. And I saw like Snoop was, was riding for her and Drake was riding for her. But WAC 100 says, put her on the first thing smoking back to the dispensary. A violation leads to punishment. Nobody is bigger than the program. Rules and regulations are there to be followed, not ignored. Cool. Then he says, she failed us as a people as far as I'm concerned. Hmm. All right. This is where I'm like, <laughs> fam. You just said on the last topic. Sometimes you don't. Have, it's better just not to say nothing. Mm-hmm. This young lady did not fail us, and I'm assuming he's meaning black folks. She did not fail us as. What do you say? Fail us as a people. Uh, Maybe he means Americans. <laughs> Maybe yeah. you, I wish y'all could see how he looked people. when he said that. Yeah. <laughs> Man. This is what this I'm 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 not with this one, man. I'm sorry, man. I, from all the all the rest of the support I saw from people in hip hop, it, it was it was positive. He was on the right track, but fam failed us as a people off a off a failed drug test. I'm cool on that. Am I going? Am, am I wrong? What what do y'all think? What you think, Jay Moore? When you hear that, to me that's extra. Like that's to me that's irresponsible. I think that he just you know. He took it f- way further than it needs to be, but you know his, his name is Whack One Hundred. We we say that every time we bring up a Whack One Hundred. Yeah, topic. that his name is Whack One Hundred. The, the, yeah, it goes back to, to his name. The fact his name is Whack One Hundred, but that's fine. I you only know, know him because of this show. Yeah. yeah. So. Oh, word. Yeah, I was like, who is Whack One Hundred? <laughs> yeah. And then I had to do my research. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, he, yeah. But, so yeah. yeah, well, uh, Mr. Whack, he, um, I think he's doing too much here, but that's just what. In the age of social media, that's just what it is. Just like Felicia Rashad was doing too much, you know, with the Bill Cosby situation. He's doing too much. I mean, Felicia got a pass because she's at that age where she gonna say what she want to say. Yeah, anyway. there's something about when you old, old black women pretty much just say what they need to say. 100. percent They don't care about being canceled. They'd be like, look, I made it to this point. You look, can leave me alone. Yeah, but, but uh, old white people are the same. They well, talk to them alone. Yeah. Talk to them. Young white people. No, let's stop. <laughs> <laughs> there's a difference. Yeah, yeah, there is a difference. Said, don't get, don't get me started. But, uh, <laughs> it's a good. Honestly, it's a good thing. A lot of uh, white families could not get together for Thanksgiving after this election. Man, but um, <laughs> tough, tough. But yeah, whack. Just saying, it's like he didn't need to say it. Um, the young lady, you know, I mean, I was pulling I, for it, man. I, I was pulling for, for it, but you know what? Look, um. Just, just in the, you know, you you gotta know the rules, mom. And you do, you know, just like okay, a friend. Of, I remember a friend of mine uh, had got laid off from his job. What, but part of his ritual, you know, was like on Sundays he liked to, you know, indulge in a little herbal essence. And, I see what uh, you did there. I and, like that. And when he watched uh, watch football, you know, and that was just that was his, you know, that was his glass of wine. Yeah. You know, for mm-hmm. like you know, some people indulge, some people, you know, they have a little sip or whatever. But you know, when he was back in the job market he was like okay i gotta cut this off because if they if the job if i get the job i want and an opportunity presents itself yeah. i don't want to lose that opportunity because of um a failed drug test that's fair you know and so you know while i feel for her it's i think it's still i messed up that we're testing for marijuana in 2021 that's, at all that's where for i was because it's not like it's a it's a, a, a performance enhancing drug in fact it makes it more impressive that she Sit ran down. she ran a 108 on weed that's incredible yeah. um so um you know i feel but once again these are the rules we know why you know marijuana is why it's even called marijuana right. uh, is is you know it has its roots in racism yep. but unfortunately until they strike those 
rules from the books, you have to be aware. Like, I, I feel sorry for her because she's worked so hard to get to this point. And, you know, one lapse in judgment brought on by the trauma of losing a parent yeah. has basically dashed her opportunity, you know, for at least another four years. You know, I'm, of course, track is, you know, three or three. Oh, that's right. That's right. Um, She'll still but have opportunities. She'll now still have, you know, because she can still run in the world championships. Like, you know, it's not, those, but it's, it's, it's not going to hit like the Olympics, though. It's, it's not, not. But at the same not. time, you know, you know, she's still young enough to where she can come back. But now was her time. And unfortunately, that lapse in judgment brought on by the trauma of losing her mother. Like, I feel for her on so many different levels. But at the same time, you know, you're an adult. They give you a car. Like, they tell you what stuff you can't even get from GNC. Yeah. You yeah. know, what yeah. supplements and what vitamins you cannot take that are on the ban list. And you can't be surprised. I mean, it's messed up because it, she was running in Oregon. In Oregon, recreational use of marijuana is 100 percent legal yeah and but you know of course we know on a federal level and how they test in the olympics it doesn't matter what they're doing in oregon this is this is a lot bigger than that and i yeah. i i have more sympathy for her than i do scorn you know but at the same time like this is a this could serve as an example to a lot of young people don't let that lapse in judgment take away an opportunity that you deserve take that what you think I know she ain't let us down as, as well, people. Well, definitely man. not. I that's mean, stupid. that's that's a little extra. Yeah. <clears throat> she I didn't mean, do anything illegal, technically. Nah. We're talking about a young lady that's running track. Mind you, I don't know if, if you all have seen Team USA. Um, as far as the track team is concerned, there's other people that can pick up her shoes and put them on and fill in just as well as she did. Like, I think we're putting too much concern and uh, – uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Responsibility on her back as somebody that's running track for the United States of America. I mean, she smoked some weed. She says she knew she shouldn't have did it. We we know that. I agree. She shouldn't have done it. But to say that that she's failed black America, essentially, cause yeah. that's what I'm taking. That's it how as. I took it, too. Yep. That's that's just stupid. I mean, when uh when uh, Michael Phelps got caught with a bong, he never got caught smoking. He got caught with a picture of a bong. Which you use to smoke marijuana. Right, of course. It's a water pipe. White oh, yeah, white yeah. folks didn't come out and say that, that he's failed America. You know what I'm saying? At all. It, it's We got to get to the point where we're, we're not putting so much weight on one person's back. And trying to make it like this one person is the voice for everybody. We have a lot of talented people all over the United States and on the team. And unfortunately, this this situation is overshadowing everything. We don't know how the Olympic team is going to perform. You know what I'm saying? Oh, she dusted everybody in the uh, qualifications. But at the same time, you never know what would have happened over there. Uh, it's just stupid to me. I don't know. Yeah, that yeah that com that comment is that's a huge that's a super it's reason. a whack 100 comment it's a whack I mean, 100 comment that's what we've got to start calling those it's just a whack no, 100 it's a comment 100 whack um 100 percent 100 percent whack definitely um long you have any thoughts on that man we we i know we may have touched on it by now but no, just I mean, over the olympics are a white supremacist institute no i'm just i'm just <laughs> No. He ain't wrong though, but you know, I'm just saying like, you really dig into the history. Yeah, yeah. no, I we'll do that on the post show. We'll do that. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I mean, it's based on his comment. You know, I don't really have any comment on it. You know? I mean, if he's talking about Americans, I like that. I like that. I like that. I don't even. I don't even think she let Americans down. So I think it was just something that happened. I mean, I, I get it. I, you know, I, I get it. I get the fact that it could be. Um, you know, you want her to win, right? Yeah. And so, but I don't know. She's you can't be right with this situation, though, because when she won, people were judging her by her hair and her nails, nails and all of that. True. And it's almost like they couldn't wait for her to fail. Yeah. So as soon as That's how they found out she smoked weed and can't be on the team, then they jumped on that because yeah. they were foaming at the mouth about it because they didn't like her in the first place. kind of goes back that. to the last conversation we are talking about. You know, people kind of make their minds up and then, yeah. and then the narratives get built. But I don't think she did anything wrong. I was like, oh, that yeah. sucks is what I thought. Yeah. I was like, you know, like blown opportunity. Like, is it a dumb? Is it a dumb rule? Probably. But <laughs> she literally was blown opportunities. 
I yeah. see what you hey. nice. That's nice. And it's not this this the thing too. That's nice. A lot of people keep bringing America into play. Um, I mean, we we know we have our problems. Yeah. A lot of our stuff should be left off the world stage as well. Um, this isn't an American problem. Mm -hmm. This is a United States Olympic Committee problem. Right. We Ooh. don't the American people or American uh Olympics whatever you want to call them they don't run the whole organization so it doesn't matter that uh smoking is not illegal in certain places here that it is in other countries and so on and so it's forth a, well it's an institution yeah you know it's a it's a rule for an institution of to per play sports you right know, yeah. like yeah <clears throat> you know i mean i yeah i mean so i get it you know like there's still other other countries out there that don't allow this either you know mm -hmm. so it's uh it's it's unfortunate is really all I can say. And I, I saw that and I was like, Oh, that sucks. You know, I didn't didn't really kinda look at it like, Oh, she's a bad person or Right. Or she, I mean, yeah, she screwed she knows she messed up. She did now, she did you know, I mean she had, you know, self like accountability for it. Like yeah. she came out and was like, Yeah, I dropped the Nike ball. Nike got back behind her, which yeah. is cool. You know, like but I think, you know, she messed up. She took accountability for it. That should be the end of it, you know? She'll yeah. be just fine. Like like you said, she's twenty one years old. Mm -hmm. Um I mean, she's not really even in the prime of her no, career yet. Here. And we're talking about Allison uh, Fe uh, Phoenix. Yeah. Or Felix, I'm sorry. Yep. Um, made the squad. And she's what, 35? Yeah. 34, 35? Yeah. Somewhere in there. So, like I mean. Second or third Olympics. Yeah. So. Might be fourth. Yeah. She's so, a beast, too. She's cold. So, I mean, this is a learning experience. And she, she has time to pretty much write this story the right way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm it is it. what it is. I'm yeah. with it. That's they said they just set her up for a comeback. So yeah. If you've enjoyed this segment from the New Old Heads podcast, make sure to join our live chat every Tuesday from nine to eleven PM Eastern at youtube.com slash new old heads network. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. We also invite you to join our private Discord community at newoldheads.com slash community. 